Let's go back to my parallel review series with Kenrith, the Returned King, who surprised the hell out of me. He is incredibly fun to play and pretty damn powerful in the game. So when I was building Kenrith, um, I didn't know what to do with him. Okay, so he's essentially all five colors because his abilities, his text box, has all five colors. I can do whatever I want, but he doesn't give me any hints as to what he wants other than do shit. So I didn't know, should I go some kind of tribal, maybe tribal knights, maybe some um, knights, unicorns, swords and sorcery, some King Arthur kind of theme. Should I do something like that? Uh, should I go completely off the wall with some tribe that doesn't have a lot of support and he can be the uh, the headmaster. What do I do with him? And it's wide open. And the mana base. How do I build the mana base? Shit, it's all five colors. That's... I put all ten shock lands, ten fetch lands. I don't have them extra. That's, that's going to be expensive to buy. Kenny, what the hell do I do with you? So I decided I will build him fast and cheap. I will use cards I already own, and I will use basic lands. So the idea was, I would only have three non-basic lands. Everything else, I have seven of each basic land. So seven of that forest, seven of that swamp. I have five mana rocks. What I did is I broke it down into fives. So there are five colors of magic. So I have five mana rocks, and the mana rocks have no relation to the color, they're just mana rocks. So our millery sphere, there's my swamp, there's the plains I chose, there's the island I chose. And then what I did is I decided I'll take six cards from each color, CMC one through, five, one through six. So something in red for one CMC, something uh, two, three, four, five, six. And at six, I wanted some kind of titan, some kind of massive threat. Um, and then, how about some multicolor? So I have one each of an allied color pairing card. So there's the black red allied color pairing. There's the green red. There's my red five card. There's my black six. So they gave me 30 cards for colors. Uh, all five colors, something CMC went through six, plus five um, allied color pairings, 35, plus five Metarox, that's 40. I still have 22 cards to play with because I was going to put in 37 lands and then Kenny. So I still have 22 cards to play with. Okay, what the hell do I do? And I just took each color, took three cards that with some effect I wanted or something to look fun, and then some artifacts I had that looked fun and I wanted to play. So, sort of hearth and home. I thought this would be good for Kenny, so... Uh, I can get more lands into play. I can uh, bounce it. Well, flicker a creature. I can also flicker a creature that somebody has stolen from me and get it back, which is cool because it doesn't say exile up to one target creature you control. It says that you own. So if somebody has taken one of my creatures, I can flicker it and get it back under play in my control. Here's the blue six. Mm, doesn't really fit the theme of a titan, but his effect is pretty titanic. Anybody that's played against this bastard knows he's pretty tough. Okay, this is a, one of the supplemental green cards. This is not the green uh, original 2 CMC spell. Just some effect that I thought the deck needed. Same with Dracoseth, Maul Flames. And you're probably wondering, okay, you've got basic lands. Uh, how the hell do you expect to cast that bastard? 
Well, I'll, I'll show you. I'll get to it. So anyway, that's the way I built the deck. I built it formulaically. I built it with initially six cards per color going one, two, three, four, five, six out of cards I already owned. I only bought five additional cards for the deck, thereby making the deck fast and cheap because I only had to wait 10 days at the most to get one of the cards. The uh, Another one came quicker in the post and then the rest I was able to obtain from my LGS. So I thought basic lands formulaic, no theme, no real rhyme or reason, try to get things fitting together as best I can, but with no blatant synergy among the cards, it should be about a power level six. Maybe, maybe a seven, probably a six. It's, it's, I'm probably going to get my ass kicked. Oh my God, was I wrong? Kenny, Kenny's a bastard. Kenny's a house. Kenny kicks ass. So kick ass Kenny here. And uh, in the first outing, it took over the game. Uh, this is the uh, white CMC6 card I chose. He is a Titan, so good. Um, Blue-white pair. Uh, because he just does so damn much. And the way I built the deck, I tried to, uh, as much as possible, choose cards that only had one color pip in the casting cost. Obviously with the multicolored cards, that, that's not going to happen. They, they have two pips by default. And I um, put in some things that would uh, help them out. But when I can just play creatures and give them all trample and haste all in return, when I can just put counters on things and... You know, can you make him better, bigger, barring any creature with the sword of hearth and home? Obviously, protection white. Kenny cannot make that creature bigger. This one, though, that uh, four and one black target creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under its owner's control. Holy shit, that's fantastic! I like it. I like that a lot. That's how I got Vasara back. So, uh, during one memorable exchange, I was going to play Seedmar Muse, and the genie indicated that he was thinking about countering it. And I said, what are you doing? I'm getting my ass kicked, because Cube was kicking my ass. I only had Kenrith, Kenrith. I really had nothing else. I needed the Muse in order to stabilize my position. And here the genie, who... I really had no beef with in the game and wasn't attacking me, just wanted to screw me over a little bit. So he let it go. And uh, when I untapped with him, I put Vassar the Dreadful into play with Kenny. And then when it came to Cube's turn, something like this, I gave her Trample and Haste and killed whatever it was he was kicking my ass with. He's like, how did you get that back? Well... He did it. She has summoning sickness. No, he took away the summoning sickness for a turn. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. And then the genie got pissed off because Seed Bermuse is a CADH card. I should not be playing it in a casual environment. And I just looked at him like, obviously you've never played CADH. I have. I don't have any CADH decks, but I've got a friend who does. And sometimes I test my multiplayer commander decks against his and none of his decks have a seed worm used because he doesn't have time for that shit so she's not a CADH card why am I putting him with the deck so I started really rethinking Kenny's power level um, because the genie was not happy with me playing this overpowered deck at a casual game all right, so he's not a six or seven. I guess he's an eight. Kenny, just by being Kenny, is a solid eight. In fact, there was somebody that posted on my um, my channel. Apparently, he took 99 lands, 99 lands in Kenrith, and he was able to stay in the game with just 99 lands, just because of Kenny's abilities. So let me keep going. 
Uh, bear to fire. This is the red 2 CMC. So this is here in order to give Kenny free mana. So on turn one, not that exciting, I just give them only during my upkeep. So turn one, they get trample and haste. Yeah. But as the upkeeps go, and if this stays in play, I've got this free mana during my upkeep, and at instant speed, I can just add the other color, black, blue, white, green, and do one of these other effects, or multiple effects, depending on how much free red mana I have. And that's really what led me to build Kenny, is when I saw uh, MTG Remy's video singing about him, and it flashed on the screen, and I realized those are instant abilities. For some reason, I had bought Kenny because he looks cool, put him in a reminder, forgot about him, and somehow it had gotten in my head that they were sorcery speed abilities. They're not. They're instant speed, and that's fucking cool. That's why another reason he's a badass. So I've got a duplicate. There's see, basic lands. There's one of my three mana rocks. Uh, this is what helps me um, cast things that uh, <laughs> cost multiple pips of any color. Or if I'm missing a color, this can give it to me. Uh, this is the... It's not the green three spell. Uh, when I get to that, I'll show you. This is a, just an additional. This is one of the three supplemental green cards that I put in. Because remember, I took six of each color, and then I, flush, to flesh it out, took three more cards of each color of just some effect, extra effect I wanted. Uh, for example, White the Wanderer. This is my blue five, so in my collection, the only thing interesting I had at five CMC for blue was bribery. Don't really <laughs> want to play it, but it's the most interesting thing I have at that CMC, so in it went. Archangel of Thune, um, supplemental effect. Bainslayer Angel is actually the uh, white 5 CMC card. This guy, this guy's cool. This is the green Titan. So, 6 mana for a 6 6. Never another permanent comes to play under your control, and he doesn't care how it got there as long as he didn't do it. So, if I sneak attack something, no matter how big it is, he just sees it came into play and he says, You can play something cheaper if you want. So there's that. There's my Bandanda Angel. There's the blue CMC4 Kaomancer. So you can see it was it was formulaic. I've got all these random cards that don't tie together. This is red supplemental effect. I needed some kind of board wipe. So for red I had a Thunder Dragon and I thought yeah, that, that should do the trick. Uh, it costs a lot, but I'm going to be running Sneak Attack and Quicksilver Amulet. So, and if he dies, and I can just get him back to play with Kenny. So that's kind of uh, <laughs> making best use of my cards. I've had this for a long time, and it's signed. So why not play it? Make makes the deck build faster. Yes, uh, in Commander you cannot have a sideboard. But if a card is exiled, uh, you can use Mastermind's Acquisition or the other effects to get it back. So that's why this is in here. Not necessarily to search my library, but to bring something back from exile. This is a recent edition. It used to be... Evolving Wilds. I hate it when my lands come into play tapped. Really don't like it. Not at all. Sometimes it's just... I have to accept it because the land is so good. Like a Tri-Land, tri uh, Path of Ancestry, which is just a command tower that comes into play tapped with an upside. So, I got this and I replaced the Evolving Wilds. So at least there's the chance that the land will come into play tapped. There's my Mountain. Supplemental Effect. Quick Serve Amulet. So, four tap, Thunder Dragon comes into play and burns everything that can't fly. So here's the other half of the deck, and like I said, I just 
took what I already owned and started shoving it together. Constant miss, this is the green uh, 2 CMC card. Figured I might as well have a fog effect. Toxeril the Crosive. I got this without any intention of putting him in a deck and without any idea of what to do with him. Um, none of my other decks need him or want him. So the other decks have black blue, so Muldratha doesn't really need him. Sig, because he's a 7 7, I plan to play Noetic Scales at some point. He would just keep going back to my hand, so Sig doesn't want him. His power and the toughness are equal, so Phoenix doesn't want him, so Toxrel had no home until I built Kenny. I'm looking at Toxrel, and I thought, well, he costs a lot, but let's see if that effect works. Let's see if I can get him into play. I haven't got him in play yet. I haven't played Kenny much because it upsets people. <laughs> Thor Stone. I originally got this for Brego, broke up Brego. Still had it because I like it, so it's perfect for Kenny. No matter what, my one of my opponents will give me one of something I need. Remember what I said about the supplemental effects? Um, green only has two supplemental effects because I I was going to put in some ramp spell. And I thought five protector creature card from graveyard on the battlefield under soldier's control. Hmm. Sack it, go find two basic land cards. The deck is full of basics. Then put it back. Yeah, okay. So instead of a ramp spell, burnish heart. And <laughs> my daughter lists this one. When I, when I picked them up, I had to get an extra one because I knew she would want one. So she got one. There's my white one CMC card, Mother Runes. Some lands. Uh, this is another recent addition. I just made this change a couple days ago. Um, I had Guardian of Faith. Guardian of Faith comes into play. Any number of other creatures you control phase out. So if somebody wipes the board, I flash into play Guardian of Faith. Um, he costs two white, one colorless, and I think he's a 2-3 flasher. So he flashes into play and he takes the board wipe hit for the team. Everything else phases out. Problem is, I had her, and I'm building a deck that's pretty tribal. I'm building Voya, and I plan to put in things that would like mask with Nexus. So if I put her in Voya, when she comes into play, she says, "Exile any number of non-angel creatures." Well, if they're all angels, because I've got a damn mask with Nexus in play, she she's blank. She does nothing. So I gave Voya Garden Faith, and I put Glorious Protector into Kenrith because there's only three angels in the deck. So there's only three things that uh, would survive a Wrath, wouldn't survive a Mass Exile. Of course, one of them is um, Abyssin, and uh, if they cast Wrath, well, she'll survive. If they cast Exile, yeah, I need something else to get her back, like a Mastermind's Acquisition. So this is a new Questionable piece in the deck. Spell bomb. Sometimes I need to take out a graveyard. Okay, here's my red CMC4 sneak attack. One red. So during my upkeep, I've got nothing better to do. I can spend his red and just dump some creatures if I have any. And at the end of the turn, I sacrifice them. And he brings them back into play. <laughs> What's funny, what's funny is when I was putting a sneak attack, I thought, okay, I want a way to flicker the creatures. I want a way to flicker the creatures so they don't die. And then I remembered, oh yeah, Kenny doesn't care because he's just going to bring them back anyway.
I'm waiting for you to quit making noise. But no, no I'm not. Yep. So, sneak attack. Um, this is the red CMC4. When I was thinking about it originally, I thought I should have a way to flicker my creatures so I don't have to sacrifice them. And then Kenny reminded me that he just can bring them back anyway, so it doesn't matter if they get sacrificed. I was like, damn, Kenny, you're a cool dude. So this is one of three non-basic lands in the deck, Cascading Cataracts. Um, never played it before, just got it for the art a few years ago. Pretty. It's pretty indestructible. Um, conveniently adds five mana in a combination of colors to my mana pool by spending five and tapping it. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. Who knows? Murray's Wake. This is the green-white multicolor card. Double my mana, make my creatures bigger. Yeah, in black. In black for one black. This was the best card. I do not have a stone throwing devils, so I couldn't put that in. So Vorpal Sword is my one CMC black card in this deck. That's the, the, the best option. Well, the only option. I have nothing else. Except Dark Ritual, which uh be kind of underwhelming. Uh, so, one CMC for white, or green, green. So if I draw lands with Kenny, and my opponents play lands, I can play lands along with him. Pump up my mana base a bit. Let's put the burgeoning on the deck. Let's put Kenny back here. Seedborn Muse, uh, this is, this is C-E-E-D-H, according to the genie. This is card is too powerful for casual. It's a five mana two four. Let you untap everything during everybody else's untap step. But it doesn't fly. It doesn't goad creatures whenever another spirit hits an opponent. Um, what else doesn't it do? It doesn't let you uh, equip equipment for free. But it's powerful. It's it's CADH. You shouldn't play it in a casual deck like this. Don't do it. So ring, one of the five rocks. Blood Moon, red CMC three. Um, I've only got three non-basics. How many do you lads have? Land, land, and uh, to match that, this is the blue three CMC spell. So Blood Moon either shuts them, turns them into mountains. Or back to basic shut them shuts them off completely. And even though it seems like they would be working against each other, if I were to have both in play at some time, I have a layer of protection because then my opponents have to choose which one they destroy. Because the destroy all enchantments uh, spells, they're not played that often in my group. They don't they don't do that often. Usually it's targeted. I have both in play, they have to pick. Okay, what's more annoying, that they don't untap? Or they don't tap for the colors I need? Or do the things I want them to do because they're mountains? Christ. Lands. Blue CMC4. So, yeah, dirty with Kenny. Okay, counter spell. Kenny, give her a counter. Okay. Tap one into green, I'll give her a counter. Give her a counter, she's back to a 2-2. Two -two. Kenny's just amazing. This is the red CMC6 spell I chose. Um, hadn't played with it before. Got to play with it. Now I like it. Uh, it took me a while to get a foil one. The price was kind of kind of all over the place for a while. The foil, set foil, was really high. And then she got reprinted and it dropped like a rock. So I got this cheap, same as Sword of the Animus, I got one cheap. There we go, Visar the Dreadful. This is my black 6 CMC, my black Titan. And at uh, 3 black, she is tough to cast, but I've got that sneak attack. Seek the Horizons, green CMC 4. This is the best thing I had at 2 mana for black, Bitter Blossom, the best option. 
so I put it in here. And it actually worked out really well. In the first game I played with Kenrith, got Bitter Blossom out, and <laughs> it was doing some work. It was doing its job. Venom Blast. Um, so, funny story. Cube and I were waiting for uh, the genie to show up, and we decided to play some 1v1. So I bring out Kenny, and uh, Q, uh, Q brings out his Necron mono black artifact deck. This was either in my opening hand or one of the first three cards I drew, and I felt so bad, but not the first time I did. The first time I overloaded it and blew up his entire board, I didn't feel that bad. But then when I drew Archaeomancer, cast Archaeomancer, and put this back in my hand, and he saw me do it. He saw me return it to my hand. But he didn't really put it in his mind. And then he's building up his board again, and I said, you, you know I, I just picked up the Vandal Blast, right? You, I just picked it up again, and all your creatures and everything you have that is in a land is an artifact. I'm just going to do it again. Like, oh, okay, that's game. So Vandal Blast won me a game. Need another board wipe. This is a supplemental effect. It's not the official black 4CMC card that I chose. This is the green 3MC card I chose. Uh, this one is one I got specifically for the deck. I had to do some decent buy list trading for it. Played, so he's exploration and what is it? I used to prismatic Prismatic something. Anyway, he's basically two enchantments shoved together on a 2-4 body for three mana. And he looks so bored because he's just two enchantments shoved together on a 2-4 body. And now he has work for Kenny. But he does good work for Kenny. Avazin, um, God knows when I could hardcast her, but that's what sneak attack. And... Um, Quicksilver Amulet for. So she's a supplemental effect. This went through my collection, added some extra things in uh, in all five colors. Menorak, Sanguine Bond. Yeah, uh, somebody that was looking at this deck earlier on the video I posted where I presented it said I should use. Um, <laughs> what the fuck is his name? The vampire guy that does this. V something. So anyway, that vampire guy, um, I believe he's a 1-3, 5, all creatures gain lifelink till end of turn, and he basically says Sanguine Bond. The thing is, I didn't have one, and I wanted to build it fast and cheap out of things I had. I had the Sanguine Bond, bought it for the art, it was really cheap when I got it, just sitting in my binder doing nothing, so that's why it's in here and not Vito, Thorn of the Dust Scrubs. That's his name. So Vito is not in here because I didn't own one. If I get one, maybe I'll switch out Sanguin Bond for Vito. Wait, CMC 2, so basically says if I spend four colors and a white, I gain four life and draw a card. Because I'll spend two and a white, gain five life, I'll spend two, draw a card, two for one. Um, just a supplemental effect. I thought that would be good in a deck that is really relying on the commander. More lands. This is the third non-basic land on glaciers. Um, great with burgeoning. Comes and play tap. Not great with uh, back to basics or blood moon though. But if those aren't in play, uh, tap it. Go find a land, bounce it back to my hand, opponent plays a land on their turn, play it because of burgeoning, and it comes untapped on my turn. Or Seed Burn Muse, either way, more efficient. Seed Burn Muse would be better. This is the supplemental effect for blue, so I've got three counter spells in the deck, including uh, Glendalind or Archmage. Should be enough. <laughs> I just thought this is funny. Um, so I took out his white 3 CMC card and because I needed the mirror entity in the deck. 
I want to ask, what would you put in? So the options are at white for three CMC, Silver Blade Paladin, 2-2 uh, two, two for three, Soul Bond. As long as he's paired with the creature, both creatures have double strike. Not really impressive because he would still be only a 4-4, four, four. well, a 2-2 two, two double striker, unless I put counters with Kenny. That's an option. Option two, Savine's Reclamation. Return target permanent card with CMC three or less from graveyard to the battlefield. If it was cast from the graveyard, I may copy it and choose a new target for the copy. So that's another option for the three CMC card for Kenny. And then the third option out of the uh, three best uh, cards I could find is Spirit and Doll. So during my upkeep, one color, one in white, reveal it to uh, everybody else, and give something shadow. So help me punch commander damage through, but he gives himself trample so he can punch through anyway. So I'm not sure if this is what I want. And I don't really have anything else that triggers on combat damage or attack. Sword of Farth and Home doesn't work because this is white and targets it, so it wouldn't matter to get the sword through. So anyway, let me know what you think. Tell me in the comments which of these three you would put in to replace Mirror Entity in Kenrith. I'm leaning towards a creature, but this effect might be good too. So, curious to hear what you think.